Well, it's been over two weeks since Tropical Storm Hillary reared her head. Some areas around California are still cleaning up the mess and repairing damage caused by the historic storm. But as 23 ABC's Sam Hoyle shows us, the city of Tehachapi fared pretty well due to being proactive ahead of the storm. Just a few weeks ago, cities and towns all across central and southern California looked a little bit like this during Tropical Storm Hillary here. Let's blow that up just a little bit. Trees downed, roadways flooded, everything in between. Now here in the city of Tehachapi, this is pretty much the extent of the damage. I've seen it overflow through those culvert pipes a couple times, but that water was about five feet up that fence line. It was all the way out to the road, fully inundating that area. The storm dumped several inches of rain into Hatchpee, and while there were flooding incidents with some businesses, homes, and roads, the majority of the city's drainage systems worked, something that Tehachapi Public Works Deputy Director Tyler Napier says is the payoff of years of work and design of the city's drainage. Tropical Storm Hillary was a kind of a, almost exciting for us as people who maintain facilities, uh, but also for the engineering team. So they spend a lot of effort and time, energy, money on designing the capacity of our stormwater uh, network, right? So that's the piping, uh, the drainage channels, the sumps, so to ensure that they can handle a 100-year storm. The storm came at a bad time for the community as the annual Tehachapi Mountain Festival was firing up. But with the staff on call for the festival, they were able to quickly spring into action as the storm rolled into the area. Well, the staff was able to transition right over to that very quickly. We had staff working around the clock throughout that storm. Immediately after the storm wrapped up, Napier and his staff were out pounding the pavement to survey the damage and devised a list of important projects to take care of immediately in preparation of the next storm. Our development services director, our public works director, and one of our city engineers, they went out kind of looking at a bigger picture of planning, uh, design, construction, and is there any, any major improvements we need to make to any of our, our facilities based on that large storm we had. But after the historic storm, Napier and the city feel like they are in a pretty good place. Whenever you can handle five inches of rain, uh, for now on, it's like an inch of rain is going to feel feel like nothing. In Tehachapi, Sam Hoyle, 23 ABC News, connecting you. Community members who might be worried about natural disasters should know there are tools available for county residents. We spoke to Cindy Yugi with the Red Cross, who wants people to know they shouldn't hesitate contacting the Red Cross in times of emergency. Our volunteers are prepared to help in 24 hours a day, seven days a week. We do have emergency trailers all through our county that are staffed with uh, supplies for you if we have to open a shelter. So lean on us. If you are afraid during a disaster, you feel like you need to go to a shelter, please don't hesitate to do that. UG also encourages county residents to volunteer as the Red Cross is always in need of volunteers. If you're interested in helping your neighbors, you can visit redcross.org slash volunteers for more information. She also says you can download the Red Cross app on your phone for emergency alerts as well as Red Cross locations across the county.